Hey, what's going on? My name is Michael. You guys are watching IDB. And in this brief video, I'm sharing with you 10 tips and tricks for Apple Maps. Let's go ahead and jump in right now. First up is a very simple one. Inside of Apple Maps, there is a hidden gesture that lets you zoom in and out a lot easier. All you have to do is double tap the screen and on the second tap, keep your finger on the display and then either drag up or down. I'll show you how it works. I will tap tap and then as you can see, if I drag my finger up, I zoom in and if I pull my finger back, it zooms out. This makes it a lot easier to zoom in and out of your map if you only have one hand. Next up at number two is changing the style of your map. So most people think that this default view is the only way to view Apple Maps, but you can actually click on this icon on the top right and you can change the view of your map. For example, we can change to a driving map. So if I click this, you can now see it's showing real time traffic information. So for example, I can zoom in and see that this part of the Anthony Hende is a bit congested right now. You can also change it from a driving map to a transit map. So if you're someone who takes a lot of public transit, this is going to show all of the bus stops and the uh, subway stations around your area. And then finally, we have a satellite view, which is pretty much just like Google Earth. If you click on this, it's going to be an actual aerial shot from overhead. Next up at number three is something called look around. So this is Apple's competitor, you could say to Google Street View. So if I go to a random street here in my town, if I press and hold and drop a pin, you can see that we now have this icon here in the bottom left hand corner. It's usually indicated by a small icon of binoculars, as you can see there. If I click on this, you can see this is what look around is like. It gives you a full 360 degree view of whatever area you want to. And this is supported in a lot of places. So you can try it out in your city and most likely it'll be supported. And the next feature I want to show you is weather. So whenever you are looking at an area in maps and you are fairly zoomed in, you're going to notice that we have a weather icon in the bottom right hand corner. You can press and hold on this to get a detailed weather forecast as well as the current conditions. The next thing I want to show you is whenever you are getting directions somewhere. So the default way to get directions in Apple Maps is by car and you can see that is indicated by this icon right here. You can also choose to get walking directions. You can choose public transit. You can also choose cycling. And then what's really cool is that you also have ride sharing available in here. So if you have Uber installed or Lyft, you're going to be able to call a ride right from inside Apple Maps. And you can also choose to add as many stops along your route as you want. And you can also pick up and rearrange whatever order you want these in. And another thing that is really, really cool about Apple Maps is you can tell it what time you want to arrive at a certain place and it will use real time and predicted traffic information to tell you what time it thinks you should leave. So where it says now, if you click on this arrow, you can tell it what time you want to arrive by or what time you want to leave at. So let's say I want to arrive by, let's say 805 and I'll hit apply. You can see it's a five minute drive. So it recommends based on predicted traffic that I leave at 8 PM. This is really, really cool. And on top of this, you can also click on where it says avoid. And if you want, you can choose to avoid highways and also paid toll roads. Another feature that's pretty great inside of Apple Maps is marking your location. This can be useful if you are parking somewhere in a new city and you don't really know your surroundings. All you have to do is open up Maps, scroll all the way to the bottom and click Mark My Location. Now I'm not going to do this because it's going to show my location to everyone on YouTube, but you can also do this with Siri as well. So if you just say Siri drop a pin, it's going to mark your location and save it inside of Maps. Another really great feature inside of Maps is when you are doing turn by turn directions when you're driving, if you click on this icon, you see we have a few different options. So from here, we can add a stop. So if you need to stop at a gas station, for example, you can do that. You can also click on report an incident. So if there is a crash on the road or if there is a police officer doing a speed check, you can report that right inside of Maps. And another really great feature that I love using is called Share ETA. If someone is expecting you at a certain time, if you are using Apple Maps, you can click on Share ETA. And this is going to give that person a live update in terms of your location on their phone. And another really great feature is offline maps. So this feature does require iOS 17. And as of the recording of this video, iOS 17 is not out to the public just yet. If you're watching this in about a month after this video was released, iOS 17 is most likely out right now. So you can go ahead and update and get this feature. But just a heads up, this feature is not available to the public as of right now today. 
If you click on your profile picture, you can see that we have an option called offline maps. From here, you can choose to pretty much download any section of earth that you want. This way you can navigate that city without having data. So just to show you what it looks like, if I click on download new map, I'll choose a random city right here. And then you can choose how big you want the section to be. And as you can see, as you zoom out, it's gonna make the uh, amount of storage it takes up a lot bigger. So if I zoom in a bit, you can see it goes from 300 megs to about 100 megs. And then right here, you can click on download. And just like that, it's gonna save that offline on your phone. Another feature I like using inside of Maps is called Guides. I do this whenever I'm about to go on a vacation and I'm doing a bunch of research to see what I wanna do in that city. So once again, click on your profile picture and then you'll see we have an option for guides. I have made a Las Vegas guide. If I click on this, you can see there are a few places I added into my guide. And you can do this for as many cities as you want and you can add as many places inside your guides also. You also have the option to share a guide. So you can see here, if I scroll to the bottom, I can click on share and I have the option to share this with anybody I want. And the final feature I wanna show you in this video is indoor mapping. So Apple Maps supports a lot of indoor maps, especially for shopping malls and airports. So for this example, I'm showing you a mall. And what is really cool is when you zoom in, you can see it's gonna show you where every single store is, but you can also view it in terms of floors. So right now we're on floor one, but if I click on this, I can change it to floor two. And then you can see all of the stores are changing. This also works especially well for airports. So if you wanna know the layout of an airport before you get there, just so you know what part of the airport you're going to to catch your flight, this is going to help a lot. So here is just a quick example of what an airport looks like. You can see for airports, we get even more detail. So if I zoom in, you can see here is the main terminal. You can see security checkpoint. It's showing all of the stores inside the terminal. Again, just like the shopping mall, you can change what level you're on. And if I zoom out a little bit, you're gonna see we have the option to look inside. As you can see, it says main terminal look inside. If I click on this, you can see we have a whole bunch of different browsing options for the airport. So as you can probably tell from this video, Apple Maps has a lot to offer. And in some areas, I honestly do think that it is a little bit better than Google Maps. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and tell me if you use Apple or Google Maps. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Michael and I'll see you in the next video.